Hello and a welcome back. So today I wanted to go over something that I got a ton of questions about on my Instagram. And that is how I pleat the tops and the bottoms of my candle containers. A lot of people actually thought this was like a box or a tube of some sort and were asking me where I got it. Um, I like the look. It was super easy and it's inexpensive. It's inexpensive. It's inexpensive, so I thought it was worth putting on here and sharing with you guys. Um, I researched how to wrap cylinder holiday gifts, and that's how I found out and learned how to do it. It was a little tricky in the beginning, um, but once I got it down, it became super easy. And so yeah, let's learn how to do it. Okay, so here we are. What you're going to need is a piece of paper measured out um, based off what you're going to need on your candle size, and some tape. Um, I actually placed the tape here already because I actually wrapped the, the candle already and then realized I wasn't even in focus. So here we are again. So you're going to go ahead and take the candle, label down. This part is really just my preference. I prefer the labels to kind of match up. So I go ahead and um, I wrap that around. And the tape will go ahead and seal that in. So at this point, it'll look like this. You'll have some space in the front and the space on the bottom. So <clears throat> now for the hard part. So there is an overlay here, as you can see. So what you're gonna do is grab this corner from the inside of the um, paper and push it down. And now this is where you use your other finger. I don't think I can do this on camera. Your other finger to kind of pleat that down. And you always want to start off at the bottom. That way um, you can just place it nicely down when you're focusing on the top. I'm probably not showing this too well. So let me see. As you can see, you push it towards the bottom. And then while you're holding it down, you want to use your other finger to kind of maneuver the paper down that way. And then again, you want to maneuver and you want to go ahead and definitely push these creases down. And there you go. Again. And so we will go one more time. And so when we get towards the end here, you might have an, a little bit of extra um, paper. You're going to try and pleat that one more time. And I have some people that will just tuck it or tape it. Um, I'll tape it afterwards. I kind of just want to focus up on the top. And we will show you how to do that. Okay, so you definitely want to start on the inside again. You're going to hold that down using the other finger to pleat. Pushing that in. You want to go ahead and do that again. And it's good to try and keep the little triangles you're creating even. Um, that way it's a nice cleaner look towards the end. And then eventually it'll just feel kind of natural and the paper will kind of just fold into place. And this is why it's really important that you're using a thinner paper. You don't want to use thick paper because it won't do that this as easily. Okay. and then getting close to the end and then here again you're gonna have a little bit extra and then I know some people will just cut off these extras or they will tuck them in um, depending on what you plan to do like if you're just gonna plop a sticker on there and I will just do that for this video's sake let me just grab a sticker here so this is kind of just a spare sticker I have. They weren't printed correctly, but I'll just use that as an example. And boom, and just kind of lock it off with that. And yeah, so um, at the bottom, here we are. So a lot of people, you can either just tape it off regularly because it is the bottom. And at the end of the day, they are just going to rip this off to get to the candle. Oh, it's stuck to my glove. Um, so you can either do that, or if you want, like I suggested here, you can use double-sided tape and kind of tuck it under so you can't see it. Um, if you want to go ahead and put a warning label down there like you do the candle, you can also do that. But like I said, they will be ripping this off to get to the candle, so 
I wouldn't spend too much time decorating it and I just keep it pretty simple. Um, so yeah, I, I go ahead and finish it off by placing one of those labels right on the top. Again, just so they know what's on the inside. And yeah, here is the one I showed you on camera. These are actually two different candles. This one's one of the botanical ones. It's a little bit smaller. This one's actually a perfect cylinder, so it's a little bit easier um, to roll than this one because it's not exactly perfect. But yeah, um, like I said, you could seal it off with wax, seal it off with a sticker. I think both look beautiful. Again, it is inexpensive. I cannot stress that enough. Um, as a small business owner, you definitely want don't want to cut corners, but find ways to kind of save money and still um, have beautiful products. But yeah. And that is it. So that is how I pleat the wrapping around my candles. I hope I explained it well enough for you guys and that it wasn't confusing at all. Um, if you have any questions about it, go ahead and leave them below and I'll try my best to get back to you. And yeah, if you're still here and made it this far, thank you.